Hey everyone, hope everyone's doing okay and staying safe these days. So here we have a original Surface Pro Generation 2 tablet. It was actually gifted to me from my dad some time back. He actually grabbed one of the uh, earlier generations of the tablet here. And uh, I believe this actually originally came with Windows 8 or in Windows 8.1. I can't really remember, but obviously once I got my hands on that, I tossed Windows 10 on it, just so I can go ahead and make it just a little bit more useful. Windows 8, now, a lot of people definitely have their opinions on that. I have my own, and I really didn't find it too appealing. So right now, I actually went ahead and just did a fresh installation of Windows 10 yet again. Nothing, everything looks so basic right now. Nothing particular. But I did go ahead and plug in a little uh, USB thumb drive on the left side over here. It does have one USB port on this side here, just a regular USB uh, Type A port. And I'm going to go ahead and do an upgrade to Windows 11, if it will permit me. So let's go ahead and get Windows Explorer up here. I already do have a thumb drive with Windows 11, slightly modified so I can go ahead and ignore the hardware requirements for Windows 11, because obviously this probably won't work. If I did actually just toss on Windows 11 normally, they'll probably tell me that the CPU or who knows what else is just too old. Here we have Windows 11 thumb drive, um, basically set up from the Rufus tool. I'll go ahead and put a link in the description below if you'd like to go ahead and learn how to do that, or even just how to modify the Windows 11 setup. So you can go ahead and install it on unsupported software, whether no TPM, CPU, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So let's go ahead and get the show on the road here. This tablet does have about four gigabytes of memory, um, but a pretty good uh, i5 processor, I believe. So it probably shouldn't give me any, uh, it definitely should, shouldn't give me really any like performance issues or take way too long to actually do this process. I'm expecting it should be a little bit quicker than the, let's say the Surface Go 2 tablet. You can actually see right over here is where it probably would have already stopped me and say that the CPU is not uh, supported for Windows 11, but instead it's just giving us a EULA. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit accept. Bear in mind, I'm currently not connected to the internet. I just don't want to start downloading updates and possibly recover that little modification that I went ahead and did earlier on this installation here. So there's no internet. I'm, I'm not connected to Wi-Fi, so it's just going to go ahead and bypass looking for updates. We can do the updates after. And you can actually see, install Windows 11 Pro, keep personal files. Obviously, go ahead and choose the option that you prefer to use. I'm actually going to do a uh, full just keep nothing. It's going to process it one more time and then it should give us the option to go ahead and install. Perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and install right here. And here we go. So this process should probably take a little while. Let me go ahead and speed through it until we get the little ding for the Windows 11 startup.
All right, looks like the installation was a success and it looks like, uh, I believe we also do have touch screen ability here as well too. So let's go ahead and click on next here. Yep, looks like we do. So it looks like touch screen, everything should be working just fine. Obviously this is not a full installation from scratch. It's only an upgrade. So drivers should probably generally be working as intended here. I'm just gonna go ahead and click on yes with the keyboard. Installation did actually take about, I would say around 10 to 11 minutes, a little bit longer than anticipated, but considering this guy only, only has four gigabytes, um, definitely not so bad considering the CPU power definitely get kicked in and uh, made this process a lot easier. I'm gonna go ahead and just make a local account at this time. Continue with limited setup. And I'm just gonna go ahead and, go ahead and create a little local account over here. Well, oh, keyboard's a little smaller than I thought, but whatever. I don't believe that's the default keyboard that's supposed to actually show up when um, you do not have actually have a actual keyboard connected. But uh, it looks like it just brought it up for brought it up for me for some reason um, automatically on its own. No big deal. I was able to type everything in. I'm expecting that the uh, Regular keyboard should probably um, come up here once we're done here and some drivers are actually installed. All right, so this is a little process over here. You should probably just take a moment and then go ahead and skip through it. All right, looks like Windows 11 is actually running a okay on this tablet over here. It definitely will probably need a little bit of finesse. Some updates need to be installed. Looks like it actually used up about 30% of the battery power to actually get where we basically are right here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the battery saver on. And uh, that's actually not really doing anything. So I'm gonna probably take a wild guess that at this time, maybe some drivers optimized for Windows 11. Looks like the keyboard's not even popping up either. Hopefully just a little change that I need to make. Um, well, just needs to be installed. Some updates need to be installed here. Some optimizations and uh, everything should be working okay. So let me go ahead and just get that process out of the way. And we'll take a look at some performance, bring up some YouTube videos, uh, open up a document and you know, go browse the internet generally speaking and see how it runs on this uh, former generation of the Surface Pro. All right, so actually I didn't really install many Windows uh, updates at this time. I actually just let the tablet sit for about, I would say about three or four minutes and after connecting to the internet on the Wi-Fi and basically all the drivers and device manager just went ahead and kicked in. Let me go ahead and actually just bring that up. You can also see, also see that the on-screen keyboard is working as intended. Go ahead and bring up device manager. You'll see everything here is obviously up to date. I was really, really waiting for the display driver to just show up here, which is actually an Intel HD 4000 graphics uh, video card. Um, so I can actually just reduce the brightness. As I said earlier, it seems like the battery, about 30% of the battery just went um, during the entire installation. Actually, this tablet does have a little fan in the upper left corner, I believe, and that thing was pretty much uh, moving along during the entire process. So. Definitely has cooled down a little bit. There's about 58% uh, of battery left here. And I do have the battery saver on, the brightness lowered down. So everything here is installed. And I just wanna go ahead and uh, bring up some information here so you can just see. You'll see obviously it's recognizing that it's a processor, gave it a random name. I don't believe Windows 11 does recognize this is actually, oh, uh, actually it does. Surface with Windows 8 Pro. Pretty interesting. <laughs> Does even say uh, Surface 2nd Gen by any chance, but oh well, whatever. Go 
go ahead and bring this up here, you'll see a uh, CPU, obviously, quad core or two core with a total of four threads and um, some other information here, four gigabytes of RAM. So let's go ahead and see how this uh, actually runs. I'm gonna go ahead and bring up the Edge browser here and just go ahead and click on a just a video here, maybe a little bit of walk and talk video that I have here at some point that, um, here we go. Checking out the DJI um, 4 right here. Dismiss that. And right now it is at 1080 with 60 frames. You'll see that the picture's actually uh, running pretty smoothly, I would say. You can see it's actually running pretty, pretty well, pretty smooth. Uh, picture's uh, really sharp, um, considering this is actually an older tablet with an older CPU, four gigs of RAM, which obviously is a bit of a bottleneck, but still running pretty, pretty well. Um, I'm anticipating there might be a little bit of a hiccup if I try to run two of these videos simultaneously. I definitely can give it a shot, but obviously running so far so good. I'm gonna go ahead and open up another internet browser just in case. I can immediately see just trying to reduce the window. It obviously causes a little bit of an issue. Let's just go ahead and just go to YouTube again. And you'll see I'm just basically just browsing the internet here, going up and down, checking stuff out while this video is still playing down here. A little bit of a hiccup here between switching windows. So obviously there is a bit of a limitation issue here when uh, just navigating through stuff. Going through start here, hmm, pretty interesting. I actually got rid of all of these icons and now they all just magically came back. Let's go ahead and check out the start menu here in just a moment. I just went ahead and push the tablet with my finger. One thing that I really wish Windows 11 would give you the option is if you hit the start button, you can actually have this particular menu appear here as default as opposed to all the useless icons. Uh, I definitely will get into that, uh, the ups and downs of Windows 11 in another video. Another, another little thing here that I'm not a big fan of is obviously the little stuff here that you want to connect to the start area will actually just appear as icons in this area here instead, which is a little annoying. I did actually like the little uh, weather app to show up there in Windows 10 and actually give you live updates. It doesn't seem like the, this option is here. I'm probably missing something. I'm pretty sure it, it can, but um, I'm going to go ahead and see that. Just go ahead and pin to start hit back and well I mean I guess once all these things are gone um, you obviously do see the app here but let's see if you have any options to manipulate it nope doesn't really look like it so not really too useful here um, they kind of eliminated unfortunately an option that I really did enjoy so does Windows 11 work on older generation surface tablets well if it definitely works on the second gen it should definitely work on third, fourth, etc., etc., etc. There's obviously a tablet dating back to like 2013, 2014, but running pretty well. After playing that video, you can actually hear the little bit of the fan. And uh, let's see how much more battery power was just used here. It's down to 51%. So obviously, not too, uh, I guess some updates and whatnot can definitely help here with uh, optimizations with power, who knows what. But, uh, or maybe I just have this thing on a uh, decent brightness here just for the sake of recording. So it's probably just sucking up some power pretty quickly on this tablet. But other than that, it's actually working pretty well. Um, I can anticipate that Office and everything will work pretty well. Of course, once you start browsing the internet and maybe have Microsoft Word or maybe even a secondary browser opened up at four gigabytes of RAM, you're probably gonna start getting a little bit of a bottlenecking and some memory stops gonna start occurring. That will really bring down performance. But if you're not planning to go too crazy, this wonderful little tablet here can definitely do the job in Windows 11. Obviously not officially supported, so obviously support for this may actually stop, but Windows uh, updates do actually work. Let me actually go ahead and bring that up just to demonstrate it for you. And you'll see here the updates actually do show up here in just a moment. I did see them a little earlier, but I decided not to install them just for the sake of this thing actually not taking another 35 minutes just to get it all installed. Yep, there we go. Download now. It's just waiting for me to click on it. <laughs> a lot of updates here. Even some uh, driver updates as well, too. You can actually see here. Most of this actually is a bunch of driver updates. Camera, surface accessory device. Interesting. 
I know this uh, tablet came with a pen, though my dad actually told me that he misplaced it at some point, so I didn't actually see if the Surface uh, Pen that, that's actually designed for later generations will work on this. Maybe I'll go ahead and give it a shot once I actually get my hands on one. Anyway, hope everyone really enjoyed this uh, video here. Just a little bit of, uh, hey, does it, you know, can, can, kind of uh, reminds me of those old does it blend videos on YouTube. Does Windows 11 run on this? So definitely look out. I definitely do plan to toss on a couple of little more videos if Windows 11 does work on a particular computer, laptop, maybe even a netbook. Thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed this, definitely shoot a like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have a couple of questions. Let me know if you have, have any feedback with uh, your former uh, Windows uh, Surface Pro tablets that may be running Windows 11, or if you're actually curious if it does run or not. Considering it actually runs here, I think you're in a pretty good spot that it will. Thanks again for watching, and as always, stay safe everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.